Before we head into the video, I'd love to give a shout out to the sponsor of the channel, RL Exchange. Now, RL Exchange is the best way to buy any item and credits on any platform and at the cheapest prices so that you can build your dream setup. They have 24 7 active support and the fastest delivery around, so make sure to go and check them out using the link in the description down below and use code TXC to get yourself 3% off your order. I'm going to be giving away a Titanium White Octane every 1,000 subscribers on the channel. If you would like to enter, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, turn post notifications on, drop a like on the video, and then finally head over to the Discord server. The link is in the description down below. And then head over to the giveaways channel and just click join. You will need to be level 1, but you can do that by typing like 10 times. It's really easy. Good luck to everyone that enters. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video on episode 39 of trading from nothing all the way up to the alpha cap. We're already at we're already at episode 39, it's honestly insane. Just before we do get into the trades, please do make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, because right now trading is really dead. So, uh, I need your guys' support if I'm going to continue the series. But anyway, let's try and hit 150 likes on this episode. I think the White Octane giveaway is almost over, so make sure to join the Discord if you do want to enter that giveaway as well. But anyway, that's going to be it for the intro, and let's get into the first trade of episode 39. Okay, so heading into the first trade of the video now, I believe the inventory is around 90,000 credits, and we are going to be picking up a white breakout. We're going to be selling on our creams and zombies. I think they're worth about 500 credits, and then the breakout is worth 400. So together, his offer is actually around 700 credits for my zomba, which is around 500. So we're getting 200 credits profit really easily there, and also I think the white breakout is pretty easy to sell as well. So um, I'm not going to complain about that. We'll try and sell the breakout on for the minimum value i don't think it has enough demand to sell it on for anything more than that so we're just going to be listing that up on rl garage rl training post just trying to get as many people as possible to see my post just so that i i have a higher chance of selling the item and that uh, this series will just be over quickly because obviously i'm trade i'm getting more trades and we're making more profit in a small amount in a small amount of time rather but we're also going to be picking up some black oems 950 150 credits below the minimum value I've picked up so many black OEMs and black stones as well throughout the series. I've made so much profit on them. If you underpay by about 50 to 200 credits, you're basically guaranteed to make profit because they have quite a high demand, meaning that loads of people are searching for them and therefore they are pretty easy to sell on. And then we are also going to be paying 100 credits below the minimum value for a titanium white fennec. I did try and negotiate a little bit more. Uh, however, I wasn't able to get it for anything less, but we'll still take it and then we can easily flip this on and get 100 credits profit. I think I actually do that multiple times in in this video so white fennecs are a really good item to buy again underpaying by anywhere between 50 to 200 credits you're basically guaranteed to make profit on that item as well now we have black interstellar it is going to be a hard to sell item which is why i'm underpaying by 250 credits we're going to be trying to flip this for the minimum value again it doesn't have a high enough demand to, uh, to really get anything more than that so we're just uh, we're going to be trying to get the minimum value if we can do that that'll be 250 credits profit which is very very decent now, right now, the inventory is looking very solid. I know we're 39 episodes in, which is crazy. There's so many videos on this series already. But yeah, inventory is looking pretty solid at the moment. The forest green tunica are going to be pretty hard to sell, as well as the black hero and the white atomizer. But apart from that, I don't think anything is that hard to sell. Uh, the octane OEM interstellar they'll eventually get sold uh the octane and the oem being really easy to sell as well we did also just pick up a crimson standard we paid 150 credits below the minimum value now usually i would tell people to try and sell this on for the mid value but right now it doesn't have that much of a demand to it so if you have any painted standards i might advise at the moment just to sell it on for the minimum value because the market is pretty dead but anyway we are going to be paying 1200 credits and a purple octane worth 700 for a black standard so i'm paying around nine uh, for around 1.9k rather uh, for the black standard which sells for about 2.2k so really good trade i could have sold the purple octane for mid so technically my offer is around 2k even then it's going to be 200 credits below the minimum value of the black standard again black standard really easy to sell and uh, because it is probably the most demanded standard paint i am going to be trying to get mid value for that but any other one apart from white i would just advise to sell for the minimum value also we are going to be picking up an orange octane 100 credits below the minimum value Again, really high demand with Octane, so we're going to be trying to get the mid value for that item as well. Now, 
all of these trades are pretty old, maybe uh, three or four days old. I haven't actually traded in Season 9 yet. Um, I've done a couple of update videos, and then I've just uploaded a trading guide and also this video, uh, which is still a bit old. But I'll probably make some more trades tonight to get ready for some more Alpha Cap videos in the future. We also managed to pay 750 credits below the minimum value of the White Stride Tide. It's 2.5k it's minimum value. Now, it is going to be basically impossible to sell, but 700 150 credits profit if we sell it for minimum value i'm pretty confident that i'll be able to do that as well so that is a that's just a ton of profit so hopefully we can get that sold um pretty soon as well we also do manage to sell on that white fennec for 1.9k which again uh, 100 credits more than what i bought it for so decent 100 credits profit pretty simple as well it really didn't take me that long because again it has a really high demand i do try and sell my white fennec for the mid value because of their high demand but i have been struggling recently so I haven't really been able to do that. But again, we are going to be picking up another White Fennec in this trade right here. Now, realistically, I probably should have started to sell some items just because we're starting to get a build-up of items in the inventory. But anyway, again, we're paying 1.8k for a White Fennec. And then we'll flip this for either 1.9k or 2k if I can find it. But if I'm searching for maybe half an hour to an hour and I'm unable to find that mid-value, then I'll just drop down because I don't really want to be wasting too much time working on selling one item. Uh, because obviously when you're trading, your time uh, is probably the most important thing. And you just want to get the most amount of trades in the least amount of time. So that you're making the most amount of profit possible. And then we also managed to sell on the Orange Octane for that mid-value again. Because it has a high demand. 450 credits. Um, I bought it for 300. So a really easy flip getting 150 credits profit as well. So you don't need to trade with the more expensive items to get more profit. For example, with these White Fenix, I'm probably getting 100 credits um, profit per uh like every time i buy and sell it on uh, but as you just saw with the orange octane i made 150 credits profit and it's only worth like 400 credits so you don't need to have a, a, a too big of an inventory to make a decent amount of profit you just got to know the items to buy and also sell and uh, yeah just uh, sort of want people to message to also uh, get the items but not bad at all we did also just sell that white fennec on for that 1.9k as well and then i do believe we're selling on the forest green tunica here we are going to be getting a purple octane and 2000 credits which is actually a little bit over the minimum value for this tunica i traded with this guy earlier i think that's actually the purple octane that i sold to him uh, but we're getting it back because he wanted my forest green tunica so i'm not going to say no to that whatsoever and um yeah, we'll try and sell the Oxane on for the mid value again because it has that high demand. So, yeah, that should be really easy as well. And I'm just so glad uh, that I got rid of that forest green tunica. I didn't really want to be spending too much time trying to sell it on. So, yeah, again, happy that I've got it gone because I think I had it in my inventory for maybe a week uh, before that point. I'm not really too sure. And then we also do manage to sell on the black OEM. I think I was just working to sell on... Uh, as many items as possible at this point. I just wanted to sort of clear the inventory up, get rid of some items, get some more credits um, to my name as well. Now, if you have been trading in Season 9, let me know down below how it's been going for you because like I mentioned, I haven't even started trading in Season 9 yet. I've just been having a little bit of a break from Rocket League in general, but I'm not going to give up on the channel. I'm going to come back and uh, try and get some trades done. I'll see what trading is like tonight. But yeah, let me know what um, or how you've been making profit. Maybe I'll try some efforts out for myself. We also managed to sell on the forest green fennec we're going to be getting the minimum value i do believe i'm not even sure what i bought it for i think we had it before this episode uh anyway so uh yeah I've, we're still selling it on for more than we bought it for so we are going to be getting profit nonetheless and then i don't know how i found this trade but we managed to sell on the crimson standard worth 500 credits for a mainframe which i think right now is either six or 700 credits but it's a, it's also really hard uh, really easy to sell rather so we can just go and flip this for the minimum value but i literally mentioned earlier that standards aren't that easy to sell right now just because the market is pretty dead and then i go and do this trade so maybe that's a bit hypocritical i don't know um but yeah now we have a mainframe that we can try and sell in the next episode i really hope you have enjoyed this episode if you have please do make sure to drop a like subscribe turn on post notifications as well and uh yeah let me know like i said how your trading has been going in season nine let's try and hit 150 likes on this video but anyway that is going to be it from me thank you so much for watching to the end of the video oh yeah comment alpha cap if you made it this far as well but that's gonna be it from me and i'll see you in the next one peace out